back here with Rocket Man. I've been walking around with him um, at Liberty for about a week. And he got really used to me, really comfortable. And then I came back in with the halter and just started walking around. He always gets suspicious of me when I start talking a whole bunch. It takes him a minute, so I'll give him a minute here. So then I came back in with the halter. And by then he was so comfortable with me, he didn't care that I had the halter. He was truly comfortable, truly enthusiastic about being here and playing the game, which he really likes to mimic game. Um, and from there, we just started doing the same thing, only I had the halter. Come back, back, good. We also did grooming sessions, a lot of grooming sessions, um, with his favorite curry comb, and he has a favorite, just like all my donkeys do. I just had to figure out which one it was. And from there, um, we started doing targeting. I don't know if I can get him over here because he's distracted by a genie over there. Where I was, I took it back and started using the marker again. But just getting him to target the halter. When he touches the halter, I make the marker noise and he gets a treat. Now, he thinks right now, anytime he touches the halter, he's going to get a treat. And so I've got to break him of that process. He only gets a treat when he's in position. I want to hold it up. As you can see, he's not scared of the halter. So from there, we started then during the grooming sessions, let me go back a little bit. In the grooming sessions, I started like giving him little hugs, stroke of both sides of his neck, which got him used to me taking the halter and putting it around his neck. So from there, we then started just doing the same thing. Mimic, follow me around, um, treats, you know, all the stuff he learned to do and enjoyed doing without it. Now, he's still a little uncomfortable, but he's not scared. He's just unsure. Ears are listening to me here. So, from there, I then start, I go back and forth between the target. which looks kind of sloppy because he wants to follow my target. <laughs> um, I'm just happy he's not scared of the halter right now. But um, we'll break him with that. So from there, we went from working with the halter around his little neck to Hitting the halter right on him. He's still a little unsure about it. Um, so I won't put any pressure on the halter. I'm just going to let him wear it while we do the same fun games that he's already discovered he enjoys. And as he gets more comfortable, then I'll start putting some pressure on it and we'll start um, learning. Um, flexing and some softness exercises in the halter and leading. So from running, kicking out, bucking, <laughs> to, all right, this ain't so bad. I mean, it only took him a week once I took it back. So here's Rocket Man on his first hike with me. Um, 
you know, from halter saw, couldn't get in there with a halter, and now we're out here hiking in an area he's never been in either, um, and he's doing really good. So I'm super happy because it's the first step and getting him in shaping him into being a well-adjusted uh, easier to handle jack come on it's okay come on come on it's all right think about it come on There, that's a good boy.